Hi everyone. We're going to find the derivative of y with respect to x. We have cosine of x plus y plus cosine of x minus y equals 1. So before we start this, let's simplify um, these uh, expressions here using our sum and difference formulas for cosine. So basically for the first one, I'm going to use this and write this as cosine of x times cosine of y minus sine of x sine of y. And then for the second piece, we're going to have plus cosine of x cosine of y plus sine of x sine of y. Now that we have that, these two are going to cancel out. These two are the same. So now I can rewrite this as um, 2 cosine of x um, cosine of y, since there's two of them, equals 1. Now let's differentiate both sides with respect to x. All right, so for the left-hand side, uh, we're going to go ahead and pull out this 2 and write this as 2 and then we're going to take our cosine of x and differentiate that times cosine of y plus uh, cosine of x times um, and we're going to differentiate cosine of y and this is just going to equal 0. All right. Um, so when you differentiate cosine of x, that's just going to be um, a negative sine of x uh, times cosine of y. All right, and then we have plus cosine of x, and differentiating this is going to be negative sine of y. Um, and then you're going to have a uh, right derivative of y with respect to x. Usually with this one, you also write um, this one is derivative of x with respect to x, but that just equals 1, so you don't need to put it, and this equals 0. So from there, what we're going to do is, uh, uh, and I'm going to rewrite this because I kind of messed up there, but we're going to simplify, and we're going to have um, 2, and then we have negative sine of x times cosine of y plus cosine of x times negative sine of y. This is times dy divided by dx equals 0. I'll put this in brackets here. All right. From here, what we're going to do is solve for uh, uh, dy dx. So we're going to um, subtract. Um, the first of all, we can divide both sides by 2. So we divide both sides by 2. That's just going to give you 0. So we don't have to deal with the 2 anymore. So now let's go ahead and add this to both sides. So you get cosine of x times negative sine of y. And that's dy dx equals sine of x cosine of y. And then we're going to divide both sides by this. So we get dy dx equals, and we have this, sine of x cosine of y divided by, and we can put um, cosine of x sine of y, and I'll just pull this negative out. Pull it out front there. And that is your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.